how to use Google Drive, Google Drive tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. Now Google Drive is one of those things that you think you know all about, but there's so much more to learn in Google Drive and there are so many different ways that you can categorize things, you can build different and efficient mechanisms for organization in Google Drive. So let's jump right in. To do this, first off, open up Google, and once you open up Google, you're going to click on these three dots on the top right, and from there, you're just going to click on Drive. Now, once you click on Drive over here, you can click on several of these options on the left. Now, you have your Drive, you have your computers, you have a Shared With Me section, Recent section, you have a Starred section, Spam, Trash, and Storage. Now. Whenever you are looking to add your files in Google Drive as a backup, you're going to be adding them to your drive, which is the My Drive section. Now in this, I have several pre-existing categorizations, which I'm just gonna delete for now. Now, whenever I am adding information in my drive, I don't like to just add it as it is. Instead, you wanna click on New, and whenever you click on New, you have several different options. You can either add a new folder, add a new file, or upload a folder. I like to add a few different folders for easy categorization. For example, if I'm going to be backing up my pictures over here, I like to add a tab for pictures. Once I add a folder for pictures, you can click on it on the right and you can click on organize. Once you click on organize, you can change the color so it's easily denotable to you what type of folder this is. So for all of my fun folders, I like to add a fun color like a purple or a pink and all of my business or university folders, I like to use blues and greens. I'm just going to make this pink and when we click on organize further, we can choose to add it to our starred folders. We can add a shortcut and we can also move a folder. Within this, then in my pictures, I can organize them further by the year. So let's say I have 2025, then I can create a separate folder for 2024, and then I can upload all of my photos here. To upload my photos, simply click on the folder that you want to upload your photos in, click on new on the top left, click on file upload, and you can select multiple files together. So I'm just going to select a couple of files and then click on open, and you guys can see my uploads have started. Even if I go back, my uploads are still going to continue. Now, this is what my drive currently looks like. For further categorization, I'm going to build a new folder for work, and I'm just going to rename this. So if you ever have a typo, you can just do a right click. You can click on rename, and then you can click like this and then retype it. Now, again, I'm going to organize this via color. Now, from here, I can click on computers on the left and I can sync up Google Drive with my folders. So, if I have a work device and I want certain folders to be synced up every time I save them on my device, I can sync them up by downloading Google Drive on that particular device. Additionally, people can share folders with you. For example, if I go into my drive and I click on these links over here, these three dots on the right, I can click on share and I have two ways of sharing in Google Drive. When you're sharing in Google Drive, you can either directly share by adding a person. So you can add the email address of the person and you can choose the permissions you want to allow them. You can allow them to be a viewer, commenter or editor. Keep in mind that if you ever add an editor, they would be able to delete or add files and then you can notify that person. Click on send and the share will happen. Additionally, if you want to create a shareable link where anyone that has the link is able to access the folder, you can click on copy link. Once you click on copy link, you can click on manage access on the bottom left. Once you do that, you're going to have your general access. So I'm gonna change the general access to anyone with the link. Then I'm going to change their permissions. So anyone with the link can either be a viewer, commenter, or editor. I want them to be a commenter. And now if I click on copy link and I can share this with anyone without having their email address, I can share it via WhatsApp, messaging, Slack, or any other tool. And I can easily share any file with them. So this serves as a great space for you to share files, share large folders, books, PDFs, sheets, Excel sheets, CSV files, and more. So a lot of your product data can be held in Google Drive without having to worry about any downtime of your devices or without having to worry about any expiration of your storage devices. 
Now, when you click on your home tab on the top left, this is just going to show you some of the suggested files. And then below that, you're going to have a recent file, which means anything that you recently added, and then a start tab. Now, let's say I frequently visit a folder within my work tab, which is going to be my product info. So within work, I have product info, and within that, I have the Alpine line. So, you know, we have a really large hierarchy. So first I would have to click on work, then click on product info, then Alpine line. So instead of having to click all of this all together because I'm frequently visiting the Alpine line folder, all I have to do is I can click on the folder title on the top left. Then all I have to do is click on organize, click on add to start. And now this will be added to my start folders. So I have easy access to the Alpine line whenever I want to access this particular folder instead of having to go through the entire process over and over again. This allows you to keep things organized. So you do know that Alpine line falls under your product information in your work tab, but because you have to frequently access this particular type of product info, you can have it available to you in an easy location. Now below that you have any spam, so items that are spam are going to appear here, then your trash, and then your storage. You can see in your trash you're going to have your files for 30 days, and if you click on empty trash, this will empty up your trash and delete those items permanently. Now with Google Drive, you get 15 gigabytes of storage for free, and if you want, you can upgrade for more storage, which we will be discussing at the end of this video. Now, Google Drive does not only serve as a simple tool for uploading files, but if you see on the right, you have your calendar integrated here. So your calendar, your keep, your tasks, all of them are integrated on the right, and you can actually manage all of your day-to-day -day activities from the right as well. Additionally, if you click on new on the top left and you're creating a new document, you can easily save it on the cloud on Google Drive. When your documents on Google are being saved, they're going to be saved in your drive and you don't have to worry about losing access on a different location. For example, I am building my SOPs and you know, I'm just going to type in some random words, not even type in words. I'm just going to do a keyboard smash. Now, once I save this document, this is going to be auto saved to my drive. Now, if I refresh my drive over here, you guys can see the SOPs file has showed up. And in this way, I can share this file and have it be editable by multiple users, a shared edited file that is hosted on my Google Drive. So I can click on copy link or share, and then I can change the access to the link, make anyone a editor, and I can copy this and share this with my colleagues, employees, or other team members. This allows you to have shared documents and files. This can include your Google drawings, maps, sites, forms, slides, sheets, and docs. So you have an easy place to store all of your documents that are accessible via cloud. So it doesn't matter if you're on your work device or on any other device, you can still easily access all the things that you need. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.